Hi guys, I'm Miano Modi and welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we are going to talk about how you can save costs while you're building a house, an apartment or any building construction that you have. Kujenga ama building is a huge undertaking and it's important to make sure that you are staying within your budget. So here are some tips on how you can save money while you're building your dream home or whatever you're building. First. Number one, I need the most important that when you we rook asana. Make sure you hire a qualified and competent contractor. They save you on time, on money, and they add, at the end of the day you get a good product. So how do they save you on money? Number one, they are much more faster. Mashi yangalia barabara za wa Kenya, izanya zikuwa na zengo na wa Kenya na wa China. So wa China somehow they are bigger, better, of better quality compared na zanya zikuwa na zengo na wa Kenya. They are done at a quicker rate. When any when any building and construction is done quickly, uh, pesa you save a lot of money when it's done quickly. Another thing unafaa kujua. Ukiwa na contractor, anaeza kupatia a clear cut budget. Yenye haita kuwa na wastage. Na ata, how do they do that? They, they give you a list of all materials required from day one to day ya mwisho. So, when you have your budget, sasa umeshajua ni nini, eh, ukisha ndikiu hiyo list, angalia what, what do you have? And what's nini ukonayo? For me, my a good example is I had some trees in another plot. Izo miti, yanda nikakata, nikapata mbao. I was able to save 70k on them alone. You see? So, what do you have? And then another thing nilikuwa nayo ni maram. Nilikuwa na maram, yenye tulichimba. Iyo maram, tukifamaliza dad skipping ya, iyo proti uko mbele na nyuma, ndo nilitumia. I didn't buy another ama, siku nunua i dust, ya barast. So, I was good to go. Another way you can cast cost ni kununua vitu zenye zimetumika zi inadha zenye unaweza recycle inadha construction sites kama mbao mbao unajua ni ya kushikilia azishangi zote you can go to other construction sites and buy second hand of which they will be cheaper na zitakuwa very cheap unaweza pata na quarter the cost ama half the cost unaweza pata mabati hizi za kuweka wall poles zile za shata na unaweza pata mbao pia and any other material unaweza pata na huko hata kokoto unaweza enda upate mtu anauza alimaliza kujenga bata kona kokoto unachukua huko sasa huko so that's another way unaweza save cost another nini kitu ya kwa kikamni kwa kununua vitu kuna vitu zenye hautumiangi sana pengine uta kama matox perhaps uh, ulama ama mallets unaweza unaweza pata zinatumika once instead of buying you can hire Trappers. Instead of buying, you can hire. Building one trapper is 2K. Uh, hiring one for 30 days is 100 shillings. So you do the math. Eh? But come your building is huge. You can consider bu buying your own. But come see Kubwa ni mzengo tu ya kukadha. Consider hiring before buying. Okay? Try to source your materials locally. He ni juu ya transport. Anything unapata inje, cost inaendanga juu, juu ya transport. So, if you can try to source your materials locally, ni saa. For me, was lucky because all materials za kujenga are already available wapa. Kuna kuareza mawe, kuna kuareza mchanga, kuna barast na vitu mingi. So, try to source your materials locally as possible. But before sourcing them locally, remember hivi. Quality is more important than quantity. Quality is more important than quantity. It's better to spend a little more on high quality materials that will last rather than buying cheap materials that will need to replace later as it affect your, your end product. And another way to save dough ni buy, consider buying things in bulk. See, kila kitu ni inuwe in bulk, but there are four things I bought in bulk. Cement, nilieza ku, ku bargain in purchasing in bulk, so I got a better deal. Uh, deformed bars, uh, shutter poles, na tiles. Hizo nilieza ku make a deal za the whole project, nikaeza ku buy in bulk, na nika save do mob sana, juu nilieza ku buy in bulk instead ya ku buy in dogo, dogo, dogo. So, 
before you buy anything, eh? shop around. Ulizia. Compare prices from different suppliers and my shops. Uh, I'll give you a good example. Hapa, hapo makutano, there are three quarries. Mbi, there are four quarries. Eh? Mbili za wa China, moja enye, the first one enye may dominate the market, and a new upcoming one. So, here wa China, they have a standard price for all ballast. Ikuwe ndogo, ikuwe dust, ikuwe three quarter, iku, any ballast wana uza 1,000 per ton. But sasa wa Komoranga County, uko kanju wana ripisha 700, paka. Hiyo ni one aspect. Kamu kwa hao ingine wenye wamedo, the original ones wenye wamedo minute market. Their cheapest ni 900 na ni dust. Unaenda ukienda hivo and they are quite expensive compared na awele ingine. Unapata kama the recorder unawza that uh, ni 1500. Hii uh, meets ya uh, barras unawza 1300. So they are quite pricey. And then be just behind, a fence behind, ata si kitu kubwa, just a fence behind, unapata hao wan, wako chipa na kasasa dust, wanauza na 500, the cheapest. Unapata beizao zikopua sana. But the problem ni, hao tebele na hao enye wako hapo, pia wako na kanju. Yeah, 150 per ton. So, when you shop around, you consider every factor. So, kama dust ni kwa naendea, tebele. Kama ni three quarter ni kwa naendea kwa China. No, na? So, with that, I was able to save a lot of money when buying ballast. So, make sure ume, find, ume shop around and compare your prices. Eh, hii nayo, hii, the next item is so important and vital in your construction that ineza simamisha construction for a day na uchome domo sana, na unezata choma domingi sana ukitafuta. Hii ni maji. If you don't have enough water in your site, consider digging a well, being, being connected to the grid, and also enough storage tanks. Ama bini, kama uko karibu na mto, well and good, but you need storage. So, kitu ya kwanza ni be connected. Kama uwezi kuwa connected kwa grid, dig a well. Na kama hizo zote si viable for you because there are different pro, nini, challenges in each site. Eh, have enough storage. Always have water for tomorrow. Okay, ukuki, ukuki. Kesho, um, watu wakiingia job, ukona enough water to run the day. Cause water, new high. Finally, consider doing some work yourself. Kuna watu wa meiva mamba yambao. Kuna watu wa kuchomelea, kuna watu wa meiva ridescaping. Whatever you know to do, do it. Avail yourself as frequent as you can. Ukiweza kukua on your site daily and each and every minute. Well and good, that's the best. But because we are entrepreneurs, sometimes ama ukona haso zingine na una vitu zingine za kufanya wezi shinda hapo, frequent there as much as possible and always ask for progress. He now it talks idea to save on time. Now, when you save on time on your construction, you save on money through labor. So, please make sure you make the avail as much as possible. It's part of your story. Also, with the help of your contractor, set daily targets for your workers. Set daily targets for your workers. So, by following these tips, you can save on costs while building your house. And with careful planning and a little hard work, just a little hard work, you'll be able to build the home Emma plot of your dreams without breaking the bank. Thanks for watching. Remember to hit that subscribe button for more videos. Thanks. Bye.